one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. These were the iconic words spoken by astronaut Neil Armstrong when he stepped onto the lunar surface on July 20, 1969. The Apollo 11 mission, which made Armstrong and his crewmate Buzz Aldrin the first humans to ever set foot on the moon, was a monumental achievement not only for NASA, but for humanity as a whole. But, what if we told you that there's more to the story? What if, all these years later, something in the well-known footage of that iconic moonwalk remains hidden in plain sight? To set the scene for our mystery, we must first delve into the backdrop against which the moon landing took place. The late 1960s was a time of intense geopolitical competition between the two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, in what is commonly known as the space race. This race to demonstrate technological supremacy extended beyond the realms of the Earth and out into the cosmos. From the launch of the Soviet satellite Sputnik in 1957, to Yuri Gagarin becoming the first man in space in 1961, the battle for space was on. The Apollo program was America's trump card. It was announced by President John F. Kennedy in 1961 with the ambitious goal of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth by the end of the decade. An objective that, at the time, seemed like a far-off dream, a borderline fantasy, even for the most optimistic of people. Fast forward to 1969. After years of meticulous planning and intense training, and after several unmanned and three-manned missions, NASA was ready to make that dream a reality. Apollo 11 was set to go where no man had gone before. The crew consisted of three men, Michael Collins, who would remain in the command module, circling the moon, and Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, who were destined to make history. On July 16, Apollo 11 launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Four days later, Armstrong and Aldrin, in the lunar module Eagle, separated from the command module and began their descent to the moon, while Collins, solitary yet crucial, continued to orbit above. The world watched with bated breath as Armstrong, the mission commander, communicated their progress to mission control. His calm voice echoed around the globe, providing a soothing yet surreal soundtrack to an event of unparalleled magnitude. The Eagle has landed, Armstrong finally announced as they touched down on the moon's sea of tranquility. The time was 2017 coordinated universal time, but for the millions watching, time, in that moment, stood still. When Armstrong descended from the Eagle and set his foot on the dusty lunar surface, he wasn't just stepping onto the moon, he was stepping into the annals of history. His iconic phrase, beamed live to television sets around the world, underscored the gravity of what humanity had achieved. A man had walked on the moon, but amidst this moment of triumph, a moment that unified the world in collective awe, could there be a piece of the puzzle we've missed? An anomaly hidden within the reels of black and white footage, unseen, unacknowledged for over half a century? What if I told you that there is more to the story, a new mystery that emerges when we revisit that historic footage of Neil Armstrong's moonwalk? Stay tuned, as we delve into this mystery and attempt to unravel a secret that has remained hidden in plain sight for more than 50 years. Let's embark on this journey together, a journey that takes us back to our first steps on the moon, and maybe, just maybe, changes how we look at one of the most defining moments of human history. And so, here we are, standing at the brink of a mystery that intertwines our past, our present, and perhaps even our future. Now let's step back in time, back to that fateful day in 1969, and revisit the footage of the moon landing with a different set of eyes, with a perspective tuned to unravel the secrets that lie within. As Neil Armstrong descended the ladder of the lunar module, about 600 million people, roughly a fifth of the world's population at the time, were glued to their television sets. The grainy black and white images were a stark contrast to the vibrant colors we are accustomed to today, but they represented the pinnacle of broadcasting technology at the time. The footage, transmitted from the moon to Earth, was far from perfect. The low light conditions on the moon's surface, combined with the limitations of the camera technology of the time, resulted in images that were somewhat blurred and indistinct. This was the stage on which our mystery played out, a mystery hidden within the hazy outlines of the iconic images we all know so well. Now, let's fast forward to the 21st century, to an age where technology has leapt bounds beyond what was possible in 1969. The footage of the moon landing has been subject to numerous enhancements and restorations over the years, all aimed at bringing out as much detail as possible from the original recordings. And it is in one of these enhanced versions of the footage that something anomalous appears, something that wasn't visible in the original broadcasts. As Armstrong descended the ladder of the lunar module and stepped onto the moon's surface, the world saw him plant the American flag, gather soil samples, and perform a variety of scientific experiments. But there, in the background, almost hidden in the lunar landscape, something else seems to be present. An anomaly, faint and nearly indistinguishable, but definitely there. What is this anomaly? 
A glitch in the video, perhaps? Or maybe something on the lens of the camera? The object in question is too indistinct to be identified definitively, but it is undoubtedly something that wasn't noticed, or at least wasn't acknowledged, at the time of the broadcast. Is it possible that we missed something on our first visit to the moon? A detail so subtle, yet potentially so significant, that it could reshape our understanding of the Apollo 11 mission? It's easy to dismiss such an anomaly as a mere artifact of the video enhancement process or an optical illusion caused by the low light conditions. Yet, it's also hard to shake off the intrigue that it generates. The moon, after all, is a place of mystery and wonder, a world that has fascinated humans for millennia. Who's to say what secrets it might hold? Bear in mind, this is not a claim of alien encounters or lunar inhabitants. Such theories, while intriguing, often lack substantial evidence to back them up. Instead, this is an exploration of an anomaly, a peculiar detail that, once noticed, opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. The discovery may end up being mundane, but the journey towards understanding it is undoubtedly fascinating. So let's embark on this journey together, diving into the intricacies of the Apollo 11 mission, the complexities of 1960s technology, and the enigmatic nature of the moon itself. Let's take a closer look at this anomaly and attempt to unravel the mystery it presents. Could it be a previously unidentified piece of mission equipment? Or perhaps a feature of the lunar landscape that went unnoticed? Or could it be something else entirely, something that challenges our understanding of the moon landing? This journey of exploration is not just about finding answers, it's about asking questions, it's about challenging our perceptions, and, above all, it's about maintaining our sense of wonder and curiosity. After all, it was these very qualities that took us to the moon in the first place. As we continue this exploration, let's delve deeper into the specifics of what the anomaly might be. The first point of investigation naturally arises from the Apollo 11 mission equipment itself. Could this elusive anomaly be a component of the lunar module, or some piece of equipment unintentionally discarded or overlooked? Consider the lunar module, a complex piece of machinery designed to function in an environment vastly different from Earth. It consisted of multiple modules, systems, and numerous components. Could something have been dislodged during the landing process? Perhaps a piece that was designed to separate did not travel as far as anticipated? After all, the Moon's reduced gravity, just one-sixth of Earth's, could potentially have affected the trajectory of any discarded component. However, a comprehensive review of the lunar module's design and operation reveals no such possibilities. Each piece, each system, was accounted for, its function and disposition meticulously planned and executed. NASA, the epitome of precision and thoroughness, had made no such oversight. But what about the instruments that Armstrong and Aldrin deployed on the lunar surface? The passive seismic experiment package, the laser ranging retro reflector, the numerous tools and containers used to collect lunar samples, any of these could potentially have been left in a position to be captured in the video. Yet, the placement of these instruments was well documented and does not match the location of the anomaly. Furthermore, the anomaly appears to be much larger than any of the tools or containers used during the mission. So we find ourselves back at square one, with an unexplained anomaly that seems to defy any conventional explanation. But the journey is far from over. While the immediate, tangible possibilities have been exhausted, we are now free to explore the more speculative theories. Let's consider the natural features of the lunar landscape. The moon's surface is a complex terrain filled with craters, mountains, and valleys, a topography carved by billions of years of meteor impacts. Could this anomaly simply be a feature of the moon that we have overlooked? An investigation into this possibility takes us into the realm of lunar geology. From lunar orbital photography and surface explorations, we know that the Apollo 11 landing site, known as the Sea of Tranquility, is a relatively flat region, marked by numerous small craters and a sparse scattering of rocks. A comparison of the anomaly with known geological features of the Moon suggests that it is unlike anything we are familiar with. It is too large to be a regular rock, and it does not match the typical shape of lunar craters. In fact, it appears to be somewhat symmetrical, an unusual characteristic for a natural lunar feature. However, this theory cannot be entirely discounted. The low resolution of the original footage and the unfamiliar lighting conditions could distort our perception, making the ordinary seem extraordinary. But would a natural feature, no matter how unusually shaped or illuminated, have gone unnoticed for over half a century? The deeper we delve into this mystery, the more enigmatic it becomes. The anomaly defies identification, yet its presence is undeniable. It is not a piece of discarded mission equipment, nor does it match the features of the lunar landscape. What, then, could it be? At this point, the mind naturally gravitates towards the fantastic, the outlandish, the realm of conspiracy theories. The internet is rife with speculation about the moon landing, 
from claims that it was faked, to theories of alien structures and lost civilizations. Could the anomaly be a hint towards such secrets, a tiny piece of a larger puzzle that challenges our understanding of the moon and humanity's journey to it? Or is there another explanation, one rooted in the complexities of perception and the limits of technology? Could the anomaly be an illusion, a trick of light and shadow that has led us on a wild goose chase? Whatever the answer, the journey to uncover it is a testament to our innate curiosity and our relentless pursuit to understand the world, and indeed the universe, around us. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of lunar exploration, with a return to the moon just on the horizon, perhaps we are on the brink of finally unraveling this enigma. As we embark on the final stages of our journey through the layers of mystery surrounding the moon landing footage anomaly, it is time to delve into the most contentious theories, those that stretch the boundaries of our understanding and belief. We tread carefully here, on the fringes of the known, where the lines between reality, hypothesis, and conjecture become blurred. The vast expanse of the internet has been abuzz with theories about the moon landing since its occurrence. Some skeptics doubt the moon landing itself, arguing it was an elaborate ruse staged by NASA. To them, the anomaly is but another piece of evidence supporting their claim. But is it possible that we've been looking at a Hollywood set all along? Could this have been an elaborate orchestration of unprecedented scale, designed to assert American dominance in the Cold War era space race? Detailed scrutiny of these theories, however, presents numerous inconsistencies and logistical challenges that seem to render them implausible. From the number of people who would have to keep the secret to the feasibility of producing such a convincing forgery with 1960s technology, the hypothesis of a faked moon landing appears more fiction than fact. If not a hoax, could this anomaly lend credence to those who believe in extraterrestrial life? For years, believers in this theory have claimed the moon to be home to an alien base, citing a plethora of anomalies in photos and videos from multiple lunar missions. Is it possible that what we're seeing is a part of an alien structure or vehicle, a remnant of a civilization far more advanced than ours? While fascinating, this hypothesis, too, is riddled with uncertainties. Over the years, most of these alleged anomalies have been explained as the result of image processing, the play of light and shadow, or our brains trying to find familiar patterns and random data, a phenomenon known as pareidolia. It is here, however, amidst the most far-fetched theories, that we encounter a concept that perhaps bears the most significant implications for our understanding of the moon and its history. Some argue that the moon might be home to remnants of an ancient human civilization. The anomaly, they suggest, is a piece of infrastructure or machinery left behind by our own ancestors, perhaps from a time when technology was far more advanced than we can currently imagine. Is it possible that we, as a species, have journeyed to the moon in the distant past and left behind signs of our presence, only to forget and then rediscover them many millennia later? This theory, although a fascinating concept, lacks concrete evidence and is considered highly speculative by most scholars. So, where does this leave us? With each theory dissected, each potential explanation examined, we appear to be no closer to an answer. The anomaly remains, enigmatic and unresolved. But perhaps this is the true beauty of such mysteries. They push us to question, to explore, and to learn. They ignite our curiosity and drive us to understand the unknown. As we delve into these theories and ponder their implications, it's crucial to remember that the journey to the moon was about more than just landing a human on its surface. It was a testament to human courage, curiosity, and ingenuity. It was about pushing the boundaries of what we believed was possible and stepping into the unknown. Regardless of what this anomaly turns out to be, it does not diminish the achievement of the Apollo 11 mission. The moon landing was a monumental step for humanity, a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream. It marked not the end, but the beginning of our journey into the cosmos. It was a beacon of hope and inspiration, a symbol of our collective aspiration to explore the universe. As we move forward, with plans to return to the moon and missions aimed at Mars and beyond, the mysteries of the universe continue to beckon us. We are but transient passengers on this cosmic journey, driven by our innate curiosity and the desire to understand our place in the universe. And it's this curiosity, this insatiable thirst for knowledge, that will keep us going, propelling us into the unknown, one mystery at a time. Perhaps, on this journey, we'll discover the true nature of the anomaly. Or perhaps, it will remain one of the countless secrets that the cosmos holds, a constant reminder of the infinite mysteries that lie beyond our reach. As we stand on the precipice of our exploration, gazing into the abyss of the unknown, we grapple with the myriad theories surrounding the anomaly in the moon landing footage. While some theories skirt the boundaries of our scientific understanding, others tread the shadowy path of the outrageous and the unthinkable. Yet, the truth remains elusive, the mystery unsolved. Perhaps, that's exactly the allure of such cosmic enigmas, for it's in their pursuit that we often stumble upon remarkable discoveries. 
Imagine, for a moment, that the anomaly in question was an indication of the presence of an extraterrestrial civilization on the moon. Consider the implications, the monumental shift in our understanding of our place in the universe, and the potential for technological and scientific advancements. How different would our world be? On the other hand, imagine if the anomaly was indeed a remnant of a long-lost, advanced human civilization that had once colonized the moon. The revelation would dramatically alter our understanding of our own history and possibly our future. It would prompt us to question our capabilities and limitations and might spur an unprecedented wave of space exploration and technological advancement. While these theories may seem far-fetched and currently lack substantial scientific backing, they do possess a grain of intrigue and curiosity that fuels our thirst for exploration. They implore us to question our perceived reality and to push the boundaries of our understanding. But as we delve into these depths, we must not overlook the importance of the moon landing itself. For the moon landing wasn't just about setting foot on a celestial body, it was about pushing the boundaries of human capabilities. It was about perseverance, courage, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It was a testament to our ability to dream, to dare, and to explore. The Apollo 11 mission revolutionized our understanding of the universe, setting the stage for further exploration of our solar system and beyond. It represented a leap not just for one nation, but for humanity as a whole. And as we stand on the brink of returning to the moon and setting our sights even further towards Mars and beyond, it's vital to remember the lessons learned from this mission. Now, more than ever, we must foster a spirit of exploration and curiosity. The mystery of the moon landing footage anomaly is just one of many cosmic puzzles that await our discovery. Each question we answer, every mystery we unravel, only leads to more questions, more mysteries. The universe, it seems, is an endless frontier of exploration and discovery. Our journey through the realm of space and time is far from over. There are countless galaxies, stars, planets, and perhaps even life forms waiting to be discovered. Each holds the potential to redefine our understanding of the universe and our place within it. In this grand cosmic theater, we are but a speck, a brief flicker in the vast expanse of space and time. Yet, it is in our nature to explore, to strive, to seek, and to understand. From the first humans who gazed up at the night sky to the astronauts who left their footprints on the moon, we are explorers. We are dreamers. Our journey into the cosmos is a testament to our resilience, our ingenuity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. The anomaly in the moon landing footage continues to baffle us, its secrets locked away in the silent vastness of space. Perhaps one day, we'll unravel its mystery. Or perhaps, it will remain an eternal enigma, a cosmic riddle that challenges us to keep exploring, to keep asking, to keep learning. And so, as we conclude our exploration into this fascinating mystery, remember that our journey is far from over. The universe is vast, filled with infinite mysteries and wonders. So, let's keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding. For in the grand cosmic journey, the greatest reward is the journey itself. Let's continue to explore, for it's in our nature, it's who we are. We are, after all, children of the cosmos, voyaging through the endless expanse of the universe, forever curious, forever awed.